What's up, everybody? Welcome to Three Way. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> I'm Elias. That's, a- <laughs> that's ooh, that's ooh. <laughs> that's M dying on the mic. <laughs> that's JP. Not uh, me. Looks like Bro. Los. Los ain't here. Los is moving. No, he's not here anymore. To the he's ghetto. Off. He's adulting. He's finally moving out of his mommy's house. Yeah. Aww. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Moving out of mommy's house when you're 30. No, that's the way to go. That's what happens when you join the three-way podcast. You, yeah, know? you move on up. Move Promotions for everybody. Upgrades. Uh, <laughs> Upgrades. Promotions. Yeet. Uh, but let's just get into it. Yeah, so let's start with pop culture. Uh, what episode are we on? Did you update that? Yeah, it's oh, episode nice. 20. Yeah. Oh, shit. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Step your I game up, girl. I've been downstairs the whole time. Not doing so, anything. there's a new Sonic movie coming out. <laughs> Let's start off with this bullshit. <laughs> this bullshit ass. And they showed like a little teaser trailer thingy. A teaser trailer? It was thingy, horrible. Like for a poster. <laughs> and, then, and then the poster got released. And, and everybody oh like. God. Why? Shit. Why, movie world? Why would you <laughs> what make. What was he wearing? His shoes were like. What the hell was, like, was he anyway? Like, hands or something. Why was he I even. I don't know. <laughs> It was horrible. It's a cold world out there, and then guys. His, his legs, like he got these chicken ankles with his vans. And Dang, then he you got ain't got to go. Massive ass quads. Seriously. I'm just kidding. Like, Do you lift, bro? No, actually, like on the movie poster, like his legs leg are like, like. They're very. Like, don't skip leg day. Yeah, they're his like, legs they're like are wide like, open, bro. It doesn't even look like humanoid at all. It's like. He's like. So is it a human in a costume? Is it a human in a costume I or what? So. Uh, it it looks might, all CGI. I don't know. It might be CGI, honestly. Okay, but first off, they could have done better. <laughs> way, way better. First off, we have, like, the we don't need a Sonic movie. <laughs> why not? No one asked we for don't, this shit. But Sega That's does. True, Se- Sega does, yeah. but no one asked for that shit. Number one. Number two. What the fuck did they show? That shit yeah. was horrible. It was like a little blue. And it has like the silhouette, right? So and then they released like, a poster. It looks like it looks like the X Men's Beast little kid, <laughs> like the sun. and mixed with I'm human, bro. Picture, like it looks horrible. Um, okay. just just looking at it. Um, I'm mm-hmm. sorry, guys, if I'm on my phone. Um, <laughs> I just wanna like one I just wanna get a better description of how because it it looks it doesn't even look like a hedgehog. It looks like no, it looks it like a person with like a giant helmet on. Yes, like a <laughs> and not even a football helmet. Oh my god! It's yeah. like. You know, like if you took like Vegeta's hair and slipped okay. it back. It's like <laughs> <laughs> real talk. Like, I mean, look at this, bro. Like, and then like his like eyes, his eyes. Like is he is he like a is he like a what like are those a, things? What's that creature you know in the what mountains? It me of? A yeti? It is he a of, yeti? No, it reminds me of you know that game of Five Nights at Freddy. Oh, that's yeah. what it reminds me of. Yeah, wow. you're right. It's I don't just, know. It looks terrible. Why? <laughs> why? Just, why? Uh, why? And like and his his head's bigger than his body. Supposedly, don't like, skip leg day. Supposedly, there was a rumor that like um the the shoes were like heavily designed, like heavily designed. Like they spent like they're literally time tens. and R and D money <laughs> to design the shoes and. They're bad. It's they just bad. They should have taken the Sonic Adventure the 2 happened? battle, Sonic, it, it reminds me made that. It reminds me of movies done by Netflix. <laughs> the, the anime movies wow. done by Netflix. Just horrible. Live action anime. Wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the Sonic the Hedgehog movies confirmed. We got posters. We got <laughs> nightmares for days. Bro, that scares kids, that was, bro. Yeah, it does, honestly. And uh, also this week, though, we also got confirmation of the Venom. Two is coming out. Yeah. Why again, movie world? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I mean, they made a Actually, lot of money on the first one. Can you do me a favor? Can you like move that knob, the third one, a little bit to like the left? This one? Yeah, a little bit to the left. Cause la, you love shit. La, 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 oh, how do you know? Cause I'm looking at the fucking uh, sound bars. Oh, okay. Well, no. Uh, See, look, you're going in the red. You're too loud. Throw, turn it down. Turn it down. Hell nah, turn it that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> Man, why movie world? I didn't really hear like, like straight up, why movie world? Venom, the Venom. first one was Venom <laughs> was trash, man. Come on now, she Venom. Oh my god. Yeah. So uh, the screenwriter for the first Venom movie confirmed the sequel is being is in the works. <laughs> and uh, why? I mean, it made eighty million dollars, okay. bro. But yeah. it just goes to show you the power that Marvel has. Whatever they make, they really people are gonna do. go watch. Yeah. I mean, they didn't even really it's have a sad. lot of like work in it. It's like, like Apple. They didn't really have their hand in it. They just had the name on it, kind of. Thing. And and the way M said it, exactly. It's, it's like just Apple. like Apple. 
What do you mean? Oh. Apple okay, will yeah. release the phone, and then they'll release another one next year. It's the same exact thing. I was like, oh, but this one is so much better. Look oh. how many. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's she what just, I told she him. Just, she just, That's what the I X, told him. The XS is better than the X. All right? So let's just leave it at is that. Is it? Like yes, it is. Barely. It, not even barely. It's barely. It's a lot better. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, so Netflix also uh, in the news this past week. Selena Quintanilla. Oh my God. Series coming to Netflix. Let that Come bi- on that floor. He's going to have her own <laughs> series. Know. Let that bitch die <laughs> already, already dog. More. She was not that good. Look. Look. Hispanic community. She was only popular night, in California and Texas. She's thinking. All right. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> stupid ass song. Later. All right. Later. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. Okay. Number one. She died when I was in fifth grade. And I was in fifth grade, dog. And I was like, who the fuck is this bitch? Because I didn't even know. I knew who Tupac was. I knew who Eli was. I didn't know what this bitch was. I can tell you but all the Mexicans exactly all my who little, she was. All my little Hispanic uh, friends' moms were crying and yeah, shit. Yeah. And they were pura viejas. It was pura viejas crying for Selena. Yeah. Because no other dude. Unless, unless uh, they're, means, you know. I don't know either. It's just, oh, man. You know what? Let that bitch stay dead. And look, look get, at the bars. Like, your shit is so loud. Turn it down Yeah, my more. bar's fire, dog. Bars. My bar's fire. No bars on Adam. <laughs> Which one is it, mine? Is yours is at the top one. Mine is the middle one. <laughs> and this is one is a bottom one. <laughs> I'm the bottom one? Yes. Yes, dude. You need turn to turn it, down. it. Man, I'm not the one who set this up, though, but thank turn you, whoever down. did. Turn it down. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. I think we're good. No, I think because we're good. then it's going to be hard to edit. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> it's good now. All well, right. Back to Selena. Let that bitch die. Oh, she dead already? Then why y'all bringing her up? Sorry. All right. All y'all girls buying. This is how stupid y'all okay. fem- females are sometimes. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Let me just point it out. Let me just point it out. Let, Excuse me? Let him point H-E-B? it out. So, oh, yeah. No, H-E-B sold I forgot bags about that shit. of Selena. Only freaking women went and bought those bags. They sold out. And the bags themselves. Hey, they sold cause, out. Because someone at work brought those bags. They're like crappy bags. They sold out, though. But they sold out. Hey, like I said, if Taylor Swift sells album, Selena is dead. Oh, she's still saying Taylor, Taylor Swift is getting her own uh, like uh, tour on Netflix, too, or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, some shit like yeah, that. Her yeah, her tour is going to be tour. on Netflix. Kind of hey. like the Justin Bieber Forever thing. Or oh, my God. Believer thing. Look, I don't think anybody know. cares about that. But Never yeah, Say Never tour or whatever. Yeah. Never Say Never. Yeah, they, you know your ass was singing yeah, that Yeah, she was singing that shit. Elias was. I know, Elias I was. was rocking that whole in his band. All day, every day. Never Say Never. Never How say never. I just said it. I never say never. Yeah, he knows it. See, he knows it. Huh? huh? That's how it goes. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's just the hook. But uh, so yeah, Netflix uh, making the Selena movie. Um, that movie. Bitch, series, nah, TV series. Who are they gonna cast? Look, you, you never want. I'm not talking J-Lo? shit about her as a person. She's okay. coming back as uh, Selena J-Lo. again. She's coming back as Selena again. One I'm more time talking, for the road. I'm not talking shit about her <laughs> because she's dead, and I don't know anyone who's a person. Rip. You know, rest in peace. But let that bitch rest in peace, man. Fuck. Why you can't, gotta keep calling her a bitch though? She's already dead. You don't need to. <laughs> I think I think it's just Better because know, of like. Better or no? Because like, that's, dude, that's kind of disrespectful though. She's already dead. She already dead. <laughs> yeah, so she ain't gonna do shit. The bro, fuck? She, bro, she died for your sins. Bitch dead. So let that bitch die. Can you stop it's calling like, her a bitch? I like Tupac, oh. she but Tupac sense. dead. I don't be bringing him up and fucking trying to sell t-shirts and shit, even though they still do that. But Tupac was way better than, than Selena. But nah, whatever. Selena uh, let's Tupac move forward because for sure. we gave her enough airtime. Uh, so Netflix also... Well, The Punisher is confirmed for yes. season two. But I had a question about the Selena thing. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. What's, What's your question? question? When are they planning on releasing it? Uh, there wasn't a release. Is it going to come out it. 2019? Oh, they announced several, okay. they, they announced several things. They, they announced the Taylor Swift, Selena. Yeah, the Taylor Swift. Uh, they announced okay. the live action of um, the, the Punisher. And then the, they announced something else. Some <laughs> they, crappy movie that they're trying to work on. Um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so, so okay. In the wake of this whole Marvel thing and Disney making their own mm-hmm. Disney Plus uh, streaming service. Yes. Everybody was assuming that The Punisher wasn't going to come back. Yeah. But no, it's confirmed to come back for season two in January 2019. Punisher, the first season, it was slow burn. It was okay. It was okay. It wasn't like great. Uh, Punisher, when he was uh, in the Daredevil series, uh, when they first introduced him, it was pretty good. It was pretty good, yeah. Uh, how they're going to do the second one, I don't know. Maybe another slow burn. Well, uh, uh- the, the Punisher, the first season, it starts off slow, but at the end, it gets really, really good, and that's when <clears> you <throat> find out his best friend, spoiler alert, um, how he cuts up his best friend, his his friend becomes the main villain of, of Punisher. Uh, but I, I think, I think that, I think that uh, Punisher, 
Punisher. Uh, I, I didn't expect this. I honestly thought that they would just release this for the... Di- this is why I don't understand the whole Disney Netflix thing. Because mm-hmm. how is Netflix still going to be releasing Marvel content? Because they have a contract. They have with, contracts, so they're they have, fulfilling they, the contract. They contracts. have the licensing rights. Yeah. Yeah. So when is Disney going to set up their channel? I think it's coming out next, next year. Next year, right? Yeah, it's yeah. So to be wouldn't you want all these shows to come out? Because I... Well, I'm, t- I'm the telling thing you right is, now. I, I don't know what happened with Daredevil. Daredevil was actually a good season. Like, that Daredevil season was, Every season really, was good. really fucking good. No, this one was, like, the real best. good. No, second, this my favorite one is the and, first one. But. And, like, they canceled it. Uh, the star of the Daredevil uh, series was like, what? Like, what happened? Like, it was such a good show. Like, why would you cancel? Like, he did not like the fact that they canceled it. No, everybody it. did not like the fact that they canceled it. And, and, like... Netflix canceled the show. I mean, I don't think they said why, but it's obvious because of Disney. It's obvious. Uh, and the mouse. So <laughs> they canceled it. The star of Daredevil is pissed. He's like, why? I don't know. But, I mean, the, they're saying the characters will live on, obviously, on their side, streaming service. But it probably won't be the same actors. That's and that, that That shit fucking sucks. I don't like that. Yeah, because the actors they got were really, really good. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see how Punisher comes out. Uh, mm-hmm. These, especially the Daredevil series, is going to be dear to my heart. I mean, heart. they they haven't canceled uh, Jessica Jones yet either, so they still have Dare, uh, Punisher and Jessica Jones. But Jessica I thought Jones, Jessica, they said that Jessica Jones they weren't going to continue. Yeah, they weren't going to continue. Oh, okay. The second season. next season, which is the third out. one, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the third one. Yeah. After the next it's confusing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, uh, shout out for Netflix because honestly, mm-hmm. they did they gave justice to Daredevil. They uh, did after that it was crappy real, Ben Affleck movie. Good it God was in heaven, really good series on Netflix. And uh, Punisher after this, <laughs> remember uh, Mo, uh, our old friend Moses. Um, I wanted you to know that movie with Punisher. Oh. I love the way you laugh. Remember? You sound exactly uh, like it. <laughs> <laughs> the singer from Because I'm Broken. Uh, see there. Yeah, you know how it came out for the main song for Punisher from I back don't in the day? Dude. And, you know, Moses, such a long time ago. Yeah, oh my Moses God. Was all, all that song. Do not remember that shit. <laughs> yeah, at that was. Shit. That was a horrible, horrible Punisher. Because uh, I'm broken. <laughs> That's exactly true. Yeah, dude, it was so bad. And like, you know how Moses used to all right, be all this fuck. Shit? Now you're too low. Turn it up a little oh bit. Oh, my God. Turn it up a little bit. A little <laughs> bit. A wee, yeah, that one. Just, that, that one? Yes, just barely. That's too much. No, okay, right there, right there. That's right. good. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so shout out to our old uh, little <laughs> Uh, Moses, uh, who sometimes watches the podcast, um, uh, ho ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. Okay. I'm just joking because he hit me up. He was like, Yeah, I only watched like 10 minutes. I was like, oh, you nah, That's fine. That's fine. We'll take uh, <laughs> So, um, what, what, was, what else was there? There was Netflix, uh, showing those shows. The Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, Punisher. And there was another, sh- there were some more shows because there was some lot. other stuff that Netflix announced. I mean, yeah, we, I mean, her. I mean, unless you guys want to know like what's coming out next month, you know, I nah, that, let's just keep I'll, it for I'll what, what find was, out what was when I get yeah. on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> solo movies coming out. But no, no, shout out to Netflix for actually doing justice to the Marvel Universe. They did a really, really good job, yeah. um, especially with Daredevil. I feel bad for the Daredevil uh, uh, actor, but I hope he. He gets better and get and, and uh, gets oh, a good job. Oh, you know job. what we can do? We oh shit! I, it's because I didn't put it on here, but we can actually talk about <laughs> what the hell was going on with Kanye. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Let's talk about that because so over this this, this weekend. Oh, this, yesterday, yesterday. Was it? It was yesterday. So um, I I am not into oh, it yesterday like, or the day before. I think it was the day. I'm before. not into the whole rap rap game um oh. um uh, info because I'm I'm. In my 30s now, you know, my rap is like from the 90s to early 2000s. Kane? Yay. No, Kane? Kane Yee? Kane Yee. Kane Kane Yee. Well, um, so essentially, I I heard uh, on Twitter uh, (laughs) that... uh, Our sources. Our sources on Twitter that uh, Kanye was going crazy. All right, so Kanye. Oh, didn't so, he have an, a, another crazy? Go, go ahead no, and what happened? What happened is that Drake's people wanted clearance on a song that they worked on. It's an old song too. It wasn't a new one. Yeah, because how many times have Kanye and Drake worked together? Because it's the only been one I know times. is, is no, the they, one with the Sprite commercial. No, that, they did. That they, Drake has uh, forever. No, Sprite they did a lot of songs together. Yeah, yeah that's the, a Sprite commercial. You never heard it? Where you know Drake's face, like yeah, he, and then like Sprite commercial. I don't ever see any like commercials. Yeah, Sprite. Oh. You didn't watch sports. I don't sports. like watch. Yeah, I don't watch sports. <laughs> well, anyways, I don't watch sports anymore. So Drake's people reach to. out to Kanye to try to clear the song because they worked on it together. Sure. And okay. 
Well, I'm like on the edge. There's gonna be a lot of editing. This, I'm like on the edge. It's not. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's talk about so this. So Drake's people uh, reach out to Kanye's people. Well, Kanye himself. And it was basically to clear, clear a song. I don't know why or what for. And Kanye just pretty much like, what? You want me to clear this song for you? And you're here talking shit and sneak dissing me? Oh, fuck no. So he gets on Twitter, of course, like a woman he is, and starts bitching about it. He 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 puts text messages. He puts all this shit talking about. Oh, he put text messages. Yeah, he put screenshot. The text, he screenshot that shit. Oh my he's god. He's a so, female, female, dude. And like he's like he's like how you how are you gonna be sneak dissing me in your songs and then be like hey can you release a song for me like I'm not gonna do that for you why would I do that for you if you like talking shit to me so it turns out that Drake has been like hasn't talked to Kanye in a while uh, they worked on his last album together and. And like basically what happened is that since Drake came out talking about how Pusha T was talking about his baby mama shit. Yeah. And, and like Drake thought that Kanye was the one who told him yeah, he told, because out. Drake mm-hmm. told Kanye. But it turns out Pusha T found out from another person that's close to Drake. Drake hasn't apologized for that. Drake went on to the LeBron show and t- said, yeah, I think it was Kanye and blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't Kanye. Pusha T confirmed it wasn't Kanye, and Drake hasn't apologized to Drake, uh, Kanye, and Kanye is like, you haven't apologized to me, and you, Which want, fucked up. and you want me to do all this for you? Like, no, that's not going to happen. So he puts him on blast on Twitter. Wow. I don't know why. And, like, later on, it turns out that Drake actually did call him, <laughs> and, like, I don't know what happened, but the song is still not cleared, and Kanye is just like, you're going to be putting checks over stripes in your songs, saying that you can't wear the, the Yeezys around uh, him. Yeah, well, well the like, checks over stripe line, I thought it was like, you know, you know how gangsters, like, they get their stripes <clears> doing <throat> shit? Yeah. And then I thought it was like, you know, get money over that stupid gangster shit. Yeah. That's what I thought at first, but then no, now it's, it's I not. understand checks over stripe. It's, cause like, uh, it's like, Nike like, over Adidas. Nike yeah. over Adidas, and yeah. then like, it made sense to me. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, uh, it's very subtle. It's because that's what I thought. Because it was like checks over stripes. That's what I like. I'm like, yeah, I love checks. Who doesn't like? It's because it's because Drake was actually supposed to have a clothing line with uh, Adidas, but then that fell through with the whole Pusha T situation. Like that shit fell off because of that. So he he didn't like that, and then that's when he that's when Drake diss Adidas. But because Kanye's shoes are with Adidas, yeah. he thought he was dissing Kanye. Especially with the other uh, uh, lyric talking about uh, don't wear the three fifties around me or the three oh fives, right? Three oh fives or three fifties, the Yeezys. I don't know. Anyways, I don't wear their yeah, shoes. Yeah, it's crazy. Too expensive. I, I'm not buying Nikes anymore, so I'm, I don't be buying Adidas. And stuff. Where's the time at? <laughs> I don't know, but but uh, yeah, I mean it's it's kind of it's, it's brazen, you know what I'm saying? But man, it's just like, female why, shit, bro. Why, why over Twitter? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Like, come on, man. And then like you, you told me man. Kim Kardashian got involved. Like, Kim, Kim bitch, Kardashian keep your mouth got shut. involved. <laughs> I mean, but I can't really blame her either. That's her man. It's her husband. That's her mm-hmm. baby daddy. She has to stick up for him. And, and I, and I you know, applaud that, her for that shit. Yeah. But the, I, all of it. It's like when someone's being stupid, like you really got to support them for being a dumbass. I mean, you gotta, you're got you with him. I mean, she's a ride or die. It looks to me like she's a ride or die. She might be stupid, but she's a ride or die. She's a ride or die. Thank you. She's a ride or die. So, so that shit also happened. It just, a stupid ride and die. It was like the most <laughs> shit popping shit that happened this past yeah, week. Yeah, and, uh, and the end of the week. I miss old Kanye, man. <clears throat> man, bring old Kanye back, dog. Like, make him drink his medicine and bring his mama back, man. Something. Uh, Cause oh, Kanye's uh, Kanye's music has fallen off. Uh, I like the, the life of Pablo <laughs> was okay. The life of Pablo wasn't that bad. There was like three or four songs that I really liked from there. But moving forward, I, I just don't understand it. Drake and I think Kanye's jealous of Drake simply because of the fact that Drake is. I hate to. I know a lot of people hate on Drake, mm-hmm. but Drake every album there's a guaranteed two or three hits, guaranteed. And, like, you can hate all you want, but they're going to play that shit at the club. Girls are going to love it. Cool. Like, he's up and popping. He's up and coming. And whether people like to, you know, admit or not, he's one of the top people in the game, mm-hmm. and over the rap game. So, and overall, too, because his album sales don't even, you know, you can't even talk about that. Like, that dude's up there. So, mm-hmm. I feel like Kanye's just hating um, and just trying to I feel like the reason he put it on Twitter is because no one's talking about Kanye anymore about I mean, yeah they, they were saying that Kanye is probably jealous of all the situa- all the attention yeah, they're getting yeah and, and I, I feel I like think. yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah. hell yeah and I feel like it's just it's just childish shit woman shit like you fighting over that shit mm-hmm. like you could just talk man to man, and if y'all want to fight, fight. You know what I mean? Oh, and then man. put it on, and then I'll uh, so yeah, that was pop culture. Let's move into gaming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
So, Super Smash Bros. Thoughts? Thoughts? I don't uh, like it. Go ahead. I don't like it. I like it. <laughs> That's all there is to it? Nothing? I haven't been able to play it because I've been working overtime at work. Yeah, I haven't cause... really played it either because I don't have a Switch and... Uh... It's too okay. expensive right now, and I just bought Christmas gifts, so I'm not gonna have a switch till next year. Yeah, it's too expensive. But it's okay. fun. I like it. Uh, a lot. Yeah. I'm Don't worry. Uh, Los is gonna be here next week. Yeah, I'm Los is sure our he's resident. Bring He'll be guy. able to so, go with I played it a little bit. It was. It's fun. It's good. Um, I've, I've been playing with Inkling, uh, new character to Smash. Super cool to fun play with. Um, kind of waiting for uh, <laughs> Mega Man to be unlocked. And yeah, I mean, I can't wait to play more. Uh, we're probably gonna do a, a stream where for the Passion Party yeah. group stream, mm-hmm. where we play Smash for sure. For sure. Uh, for sure. Also, uh, so Red Dead Redemption 2's online uh, mode finally, oh, well, not finally, not but, finally, it was but, already on. But now they have the microtransactions in there, so now we know how much the, the it's gonna cost for how some much gold. Are the gold bars. It's ten dollars for twenty five gold bars. But they have a special going on. Mm-hmm. Right now, four ninety nine for five for bucks for twenty five. <laughs> what were we talking about? Five bucks? You got me. You got me, Red yeah, Dead Redemption. I, I was, you got me. I think I'm going to go spend some five dollars. I'm going to spend five dollars too. Really? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they, they gave you uh, but, uh, 15 gold, gold bars. These gold bars are just mostly for cosmetic things, right? Yeah, it's for cosmetic. <laughs> and you can cosmetic all, thing. It's and, for me to look fine and, when I play oh Outlaw. Cosmetic things. And you can actually also buy guns and other stuff that you don't have enough money for. Um, mm-hmm. Also, this week, uh, okay. President of Nintendo America, uh, Re- Reggie? Philip? Philip? Oh my God. Yeah, oh, I can oh, never can na- pronounce his name. Um, he I actually. Think he says Fleame. He made a stupid yeah, little he, comment. Um, he actually, they asked him, uh, like, if Red Dead is coming to the Switch. And of course he was like, yeah, of course we want Red Dead on the Switch. But we all know the Switch can't handle Red Dead Redemption. No. no the graphics, so. uh, the, the graphics, okay, I'm not hating on the Switch. Let, let's just get that out there. We're not hating on the Switch. He's hating yeah. on the Switch. All right, I'm not hating on the Switch. <laughs> I like the Switch. I think the Switch has very nice uh, things that, that hype it up. And of course, it's very kid-friendly. Super Red, kid-friendly. Yeah, super kid-friendly. Red Dead Redemption 2, graphic-wise, it's not compatible it's it's too much of a of a beautiful world. I don't uh, think it's a compatible. It's, it's a just like world, it's man. too. It I don't feel like it's the switch is enough to handle the graphics. The, yeah, the gra- that's what I'm trying like to say. You, I mean, it's like you wouldn't be able to get the full potential I mean, on of console, Red Dead on, on console switch. itself. There's like a hundred gigabyte download. Yeah, exactly. That install that you need on top of like the updates and whatnot. I can only imagine like the rendering of yeah. like that because that massive open world like it's just i, I mean don't think it would work. i thought maybe they can bring it to the switch but it's gonna have to be one of those streaming situations like they're doing for the for google's project stream mm-hmm. and, Has anybody even or because really i haven't played the google or, project stream. Um, for me it's smooth google project and, or it's very, very smooth. how they're doing actually in japan it's like playing right, on a console oh really Oh, well, it's just like playing it, well to well, me it can, is maybe it's they not, can use that technology and it's, it's amazing like the mm. graphics are nice and everything like I don't know it's smooth it's not laggy at all it's basically you streaming all. a game uh, from their servers to your computer well maybe they could do that with Red Dead Redemption that's what I'm saying because um, in Japan right now they're streaming Resident Evil 7 on the Switch you don't download the game you stream mm. it and play it like that so I'm thinking maybe they can do the same for Red Dead I mean I don't know why they wouldn't I mean if if the, if the, mm. the if the like the ability to do it is there, do it. If you can't do it, oh, well, do you, you remember do the it. rumors that we talked about earlier in earlier podcast where um they we, we talked about how they might upgrade the switch? Yes, yeah, that's, that's actually that's the what the I think hardware is gonna upgrade. That's yeah. gonna probably come out midsummer of 2019, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's probably <clears> gonna <throat> buy it. I, it's for right now. <clears throat> Red Dead Redemption is not a good. <clears throat> Uh, game for the Switch right now because of the capabilities mm-hmm. of the Switch. Yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe if they upgrade the technology a little bit more, even then the controls, I don't know, because moving in Red Dead Redemption 2 was a bitch at the very beginning. Can you so, imagine trying to do it on the on Switch? A, a Switch? Yeah, exactly. Dude, I would have thrown like, that I shit. Wouldn't know. Oh my God. Yeah, you so, right. so, we'll see how it goes, but I mean, I, for me, the, my biggest thing is it, uh, the Switch is a, game, a, a kid's thing. You know, you play your little mm-hmm. kitty games. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know how RDR t- RDR is gonna look because RDR is pretty graphic, man. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that was announced by Nintendo's president mm-hmm. of America, Reggie, whatever his name is, last name is. Let me see his last name so I can. Philime. 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 Oh, Philime. 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 Sure. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Why not? also, there was actually gameplay finally released for Good Beyond Good and Evil Two. Did you guys see it? You're like a space pirate. 
Captain Person. Dude, third thing with the sword and a what's gun. What's the base? <clears throat> what's the what's the base of it? I never played the first one. I never played the first one either. So I, 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 I've never I, played I, the first one either. I saw that they were releasing it, like they re- they presented it in E3. Yeah. I was like, oh okay, whatever. <laughs> I saw the gameplay. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, but what's the story? Oh, shit. You're just a space pirate captain with a sword Oh, shit. Gun. I'm playing this shit, bro. I'm playing That's it. That has to do with outer space. I'm playing it. Anyways. But yeah, you get to like fly around and stuff. Yeah, like, like, like it's kind of like it's kind of like, <laughs> like No Man's Sky where there's no load times. Yeah. So if you can like have a ship and like land in, on like on this area on, on the on the planet, whatever. But you can also get on your ship and fly out into space and you'll go into outer space and there's no loading times. Like it just happens. Wow. And up there, like there's other situations going on where you can like, you know, control. Uh, you, I think you play some girl. I forgot her name. I don't know. And like there's like. Uh, monkeys that you, you you have a partner with? Monkeys. I don't know. It's, I'm, uh, I'm already it's like so, yeah, it's so. And they I don't have know. online capabilities. It's online, well, so you yeah. get to play with your friends so you play, too. You could do co-op with your so, friends, or you I'm could do excited. your own thing if you I want. I want to find out more about so. it. If you guys know more about this game, go ahead and comment down below so we can have some more information. Because I've never really played <laughs> the first one. I know, one. right? I, I need to I've get more into it. One. I've never played it. I've barely even heard of it until I saw the gameplay. It was funny too. I just saw it randomly, like, oh, what have we I'm gonna do a little gameplay. Okay, I'll watch this. Oh my god! Did you see the pictures for the new Mortal Kombat too? Mm, I haven't seen what it. What new pictures? There's pictures. Is there really of the Mortal Kombat? Uh, where did it? One. On Twitter? Where? I, I don't know where I saw them, but I think I saw them. It could have been fake because I thought I saw oh, a fake. Sh- it could have been. Oh, fake. Okay. For back pages or all this or what? I don't know. I saw some pictures, but it was. <laughs> he saw some pictures. He saw some pictures. He saw. Some pictures. He saw. They weren't naked. <laughs> they weren't my naked. gosh Go ahead. uh so also this week spider-man finals <clears throat> fin- final dlc has been announced yeah. silver linings releasing on december 21st yes i feel i feel mm. that there's mm-hmm. gonna be another game in the works for Spider-Man. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I, I, of course. I, yeah, of course they, 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 the they, they, saw, there. they saw like how much money <clears> they got <throat> And from um the from what I've heard about the DLCs and from what I've seen on YouTube, mm-hmm. uh, it's pretty good content as far as it's just too, <clears throat> like I said before, it should be free, it's because it's part of the fucking game, oh so it should gosh. be part of your fucking money when you pay the sixty five seventy five fucking dollars should be all come included. But anyway, uh, dumbass people paid thirty five dollars for it. Thirty five dollars. Um, all right. Um. Uh, Actually, let me get a quick commercial. DLCs. Oh, why did DLCs become a thing? Like Because people kept buying them. We as gamers, as, let me go back to the as, whole... As long as they keep buying them, they're going to keep making them. Yeah, those. we as yeah, gamers, we can true. take a stand and we can fight this type of stuff, but we don't because we love extra content and we love to pay for it. And people who and love the game, they, and they know it. So if we just band together and be like, you know what, fuck these DLCs, it wouldn't happen. That's why I really appreciate Red Dead Redemption 2, no DLCs. Revolution. God of War, <laughs> God of War, were there DLCs for God of War? No. Mm. No, no. They had an update for New Game Plus, but I don't think they had DLC. Yeah, they so have be- like I think they have microtransactions now for like the yeah, gear and I stuff. Think so, yeah, the, but that's just cosmetic. Cosmetic, yeah. Cosmetics. yeah. It's just cosmetics. So I don't that's mind deal- like I don't mind people paying for cosmetics. That's really up to you. It's your choice. But as long as you give me the, the content, the story. And uh, for Spider-Man, they see, they've seen the success with the two DLCs, so they're going to come up with another game. They have to. This the new mm-hmm. DLC, Silver Linings, is called. Mm-hmm. It's with that chick. Um, uh, Silver Fox or what's her name? I don't know. I don't know anything about it's, this game. She's like a like an uh, an assassin for hire or or not not a mercenary for hire. Uh, she's in the comic books. Um, I don't read comic books, bro. He doesn't read. I don't read that shit. Do you read at all? I mean, I, I, I read Hemingway. You Have know? you read the? Re- Can you, you even Harry- spell Hemingway? Hem no. H e m Hemingway. Hemingway. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, the Silver Linings looks good. I will probably <laughs> Los will probably play it and cover it. Yeah, um, probably. But yeah, it looks really good. The graphics always are good. So, uh, who, who, and it was Bethesda who made Spider Man, right? Hell no. Nah. No, it wasn't Bethesda. It was um. <clears throat> Bethesda, um, fuck the name escapes me. Whatever. The point is, <laughs> it's a it's a good game, and they're gonna come out with another one. <laughs> um, actually, now that you're talking about sequels, what other like superhero movie, uh, game would you want to see? Superhero game? Well, yeah. you, I'll tell you which one I want to see. The one that's coming out for the Switch, but it's not coming out for nothing. <laughs> nah, wait, I'm, I'm talking about like, the, uh, uh, I'm talking about Ultimate Alliance. Oh yeah, that's right. It should be um, on every everything, console. but whatever. Yeah. But no, I mean besides that, what other like superhero would you want to like have a story around like developed and like develop a, a, a superhero? Mm-hmm. Man, honestly, outside of I would do, but see, they did Batman. Batman, the very first one, it was really really good. 
Uh, oh, Spider-Man all was the Batman games. This one was really I mean, really there's good. already a bunch of Batman games. Yeah, out. it's just there's superhero. I mean, there's not. I mean, another maybe X Men, maybe an X Men game, but uh, like Wolverine, like, maybe but, another Wolverine game. I mean, they made Wolverine. They made they one, but Genki for Genki, but it's so oh, they made several. Long they made one like there was a like a movie tie-in, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it wasn't good. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, I really don't know. Uh, as far as uh, I mean, if. I wish it would make an uh, for a hero maybe Luke Skywalker. Uh, what? Yeah, a new Star Wars game with Luke like Skywalker. Like a VR game. Like after the Darth Vader well, they thing. They have a VR game. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like they just need a. I don't know, man. Like right now, as far as superheroes, we're so bombarded with superheroes. It's crazy. Well, right now, I feel like it's so oversaturated. Right honestly. now, um, there isn't really like a game that's coming out, especially on the Switch. That's like, oh my god, I have to play that coming out next year. <clears throat> and as far as far as like a game that would be centered around a hero, man, I don't know. I, I want to say honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing another Iron Man game. Yeah, I mean, they yeah. made one that was a tie into the movie, it but it was terrible. I heard it was, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was like the Superman from '64. <laughs> oh my god, that <laughs> game was so bad. Woo! Oh my god, so bad. But um. Yeah, it was so bad it was good. M, I mean, do you have any ideas of what kind of games would you want to come out? Maybe my superhero? Su- my superhero Academia. Mm. My superhero Academia. My superhero Academia, but they already have like, oh, but it's a fighting game. It's a fighting, it's a fighting game. game. Yeah. That's That'd be fighting. kind of cool though if they had a story. Yeah, that would be cool. Actually, but, that would actually be yeah, kind of cool. I would but like would that. Would you want it to be following the main storyline or side mission kind of thing? Side mission kind of thing, maybe like like the like movie a filler kind of thing. Kind of yeah, like, yeah, like, like the movie or backstory. Yeah, mm. kind of like the movie. Yeah, backstory. Would be honestly, cool. honestly, I think what they should do. Kind if they nice. do that it would have to be either a prequel to all that uh-huh. or something like way in the future because you can't really like do a game yeah. and follow yeah. the story while it's going on on the anime or in the yeah. manga like that would kind of like take away from it I feel but y'all know what game I'm waiting for Ninja Gaiden <laughs> Ninja that shit Gaiden. ain't ever gonna come out I'm still waiting for the new one to come out motherfuckers I mean like if you really like those Ninja Gaiden years? games just go play uh, Dead Souls no but I want to play ninja because no. I like being a ninja. <laughs> I like being a ninja. You can dress up as a ninja. You can right. make your own gear. Pretend to be a ninja. I want to be a ninja. I think I mentioned that in the last podcast. I was like, when are they going to make another Ninja Guiding game? Yeah, mm. man, you make a new one. Um. Okay, so that was gaming. Let's go into sports. Uh. Okay, so you guys went out on Thursday. Didn't invite anybody. Nah. Uh, <laughs> watch anybody. the Chargers come back me for a drink. against Hello? the Chiefs. Yeah, it was a great, the I would say upset. <laughs> I'm not going to say the greatest upset because obviously uh, the Cowgirls being the Saints was the greatest upset in the NFL this year. But the Chargers went to Kansas City, beat Kansas City, and with a gutsy play, a two-point conversion um, to uh, to their wide receiver, uh, uh I keep saying Benjamin Williams or I forgot his name. Benjamin Watsons? No, I was thinking Watsons too, but no. Uh, uh, but yeah, so they go. So essentially, Pat Mahomes plays amazing Pat the first Mahomes? half. Pat Mahomes? Yeah, Mahomes. Um, Mahomes. He, he plays amazing the first half. He carries his team, right? And they're up 14 points. Philip Rivers comes in the second half and scores uh, 14 points mm-hmm. um, with his team in five minutes. Uh, the last five minutes of the game. Not only that, their defense starts showing up at the very end, and they shut down Pat Mahomes. So uh, right now, it seems like they're both tied. But since uh, they're tied, and uh, Kansas City uh, has a tiebreaker because of uh, strength of schedule. So Kansas City's on strength top. Strength of schedule? What is this, the fucking yeah, because college they're in this, football? Well, because they're in the same division. <laughs> they're in the same division with the same amount of wins. Okay, but like, so it, it goes based on the, it, the it division goes, wins. The and, division wins. Yeah, yeah, and Kansas City has more division wins than the Chargers because okay, strength of schedule. Yeah. So that's not strength of schedule. It's just more wins in the division. It's just, <laughs> it's not college, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, essentially, wow. Kansas City's up. But next week, Kansas City goes to Seattle. Oh, at Seattle. Oh, man. so that's not going hey, to be. Hey, Seattle has been waking Wait, the yes, fuck up. They're yes, back, bro. So that situation right there makes mm-hmm. it tricky because if they lose and the Chargers go against Baltimore, and if the Chargers beat Baltimore and they play at Baltimore, mm-hmm. if the Chargers beat Baltimore at Baltimore, then they automatically become the number one seed in the NFL. And this week, uh, matter of fact, in just a few co- a few minutes of the football is going to start. But um, this week on Sunday, mm-hmm. uh, Patriots go against the Steelers at Steelers. If the Patriots lose that game, they lose uh, second place and they go all the way down to third or fourth. 
Well, Damn, it, so they would have to fight for a wild card then, right? Yes, and then they would have to come on the road. Wow. Dude, there's so many storylines going on so in the AFC. Things. It's just crazy. Then Denver Broncos is coming, and then also another game that's very... This is what I love about football is December, because every fucking Sunday matters. This Sunday, the Cow- the Cowgirls are going against uh, the Colts, mm-hmm. and if the Colts lose, they're out of the playoffs. If the Cowboys lose, they're still in the playoff hunt, They're still, but they're going to be closer to the Eagles, who have a chance to make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Um... If they have, to, but they have to win all out, which the Texans face. If the Texans, because if the Patriots lose tomorrow and the Texans win mm-hmm. against the Jets, uh, no, well, the, the Texans the, play today, right? The, yeah, they play today against the Jets. So if the Texans win and the Patriots lose tomorrow, then the, the Texans become number two seed in the NFL mm-hmm. uh, as far as the AFC. Um, but if they lose, they go down, and then the Colts have a chance to come up and tie. Oh wow! It's it's crazy, man. It's crazy, and <laughs> what I mean by that is because the Colts, if they win all out. Because the Colts beat us here. If they win all out, uh, they have more divi- I think they have more division wins than us. I think. I believe. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. I, I think that... Because we're facing the Jets. Come on, man. Um, yeah, come on, man. Come on. So, uh, and I think without Sam Darnold. I don't, I don't know if Sam Darnold's playing this game. Uh, so... Essentially, what's, what's uh, uh, the, the, if the Cowboys <laughs> lose, they're going to have... They're going to be one game ahead of the Eagles. Because uh, right now they're two games ahead, mm-hmm. and um, and they're gonna be in a in a closer race to 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 losing that seat. But the Colts need this win to stay in the playoff hunt, and Baltimore needs this win to stay in the in, in the playoffs. Because if, if Baltimore loses, well, what week is is it? It's so close like this. It's just like week fourteen. So they only have what two more games? Two more two more games. Wow. This is crazy, man. It's just getting down to the point. And in the NFC, you got of course New Orleans, who's the number one seed uh, since the Rams lost, and the Rams are number two. So basically, as of right now, the Super Bowl for the NFC runs through New Orleans, which is not a place I would like to go and play. It gets loud up in there. Who that? Um, you know, they they have crazy fans. Uh, Who that? Their their team itself. Huh? Uh, they're not an. But I, they're a dome team, and if they're a dome team, Drew Brees is gonna have a field day with you. I don't care who it is. You could be Tom Brady from two thousand and seven or eight. You go up there, you're gonna lose. So uh, we'll see how it goes, and then of course you got Chicago mm-hmm. because Chicago beat the Rams. They upset the Rams, so now the Rams are number two, and then I think the third seed is the the, the Bears. Didn't didn't, didn't Chicago the lose their quarterback or something? No, Trubisky uh, is gonna come back. Oh, he's coming back. He, I think he played last week. Matter of fact, I don't. Oh, I don't wow. really watch the Bears, guys. I'm sorry. I just it's the Bears. Um, <laughs> I mean, come bear on, down, bro. Bear down. I haven't watched the Bears since when was the last time? The 2006 when they went to Super Bowl with uh, Rex defense? Grossman. Yeah, I bet you David was up on their nuts. Um, I don't know. I just know the Colts beat that ass. Yeah, Colts beat that ass really bad too. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so this football season is shaping up. Uh, a lot of upsets. A lot of teams that I thought were going to be in the mix <clears throat> were not. Uh, the Texans, uh, my hometown team, are not going to do – I don't think they're going to do very well in the playoffs. Their offensive line is trash. Mm-hmm. Their secondary is trash uh, as far as corners, not their safeties. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But every team has a weakness, which is so good, because mm-hmm. uh, Kansas City lost Kareem Hunt, uh, and they don't have a really good running game. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the Patriots, of course, are getting everybody back and healthy. <clears throat> uh, but their defense is trash, but that's been normal. Um, you know, Phillip Rivers, uh, and that's the crazy thing, because Phillip Rivers doesn't have his wide receiver, because Keenan Allen got hurt. Sorry right. for all you people who have him as a wide receiver. I had him as a wide receiver, and he got hurt. He had 60 yards right when he went down. Um, and yeah, then they don't, have Melvin Gor- they don't have Melvin Gordon, the running back. Mm-hmm. He's gone, and he's not going to play till next week. <laughs> So, I mean, it's just crazy, dude. Like, this, everyone has a weakness, and everyone's peaking at the right time. Hey, um, speaking of peaking, um, the Three-Way Podcast actually has a Final, fa- uh, final yes. Fantasy football team, yes. uh, league, I mean. And uh, our commissioner right here um, was in the playoffs. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Uh, well, originally, uh, James Conner. <laughs> oh I, I <laughs> you got your ass beat. That's what happened. No, I didn't get my ass beat. You got your ass <laughs> beat. So, uh, my, in my team, I have. Bro, they were roasting him on the fucking Facebook chat. Yeah, that shit was so funny, bro. It's all right. Hey, Chris, you shouldn't talk shit, bro. <laughs> haven't even beat me once, bro. Beat me once, and you can talk shit, all right? You can try to learn all the football you want. And Lewis, the only reason is because. <laughs> Joe 
cousin, <laughs> your bitch ass cousin was trading all this shit to you. I ain't do oh, shit. Oh my god. I didn't do you know shit. What? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, it's fine. This is hey, a, this is in the league. I'll take that L. Hey man, I'll take that L. This Dude, is a league the league that you control. Life, the first time in your life that you actually beat you me in control. Football, hey, I'll let it go. This all is right? a league that you so, control, <laughs> and that you change the rules at, towards the end of the season. I didn't change the rules. Yeah, you did. How did I change the rules? The waiver wire. You changed no, that I shit. I couldn't change it. Yeah, you did. I tried. No, it shows that you did. I tried changing it. I kept going back and changing it. No, I know, but it shows that but you it, did. But I, I never get nothing from the waiver wire. Well, you change it. You can't be doing that in the middle of the games, in the middle of the season. In the middle of the season? Yeah. Who who changes rules in the middle of like, the no, season? No, I had tried to change it like way before, but it didn't go through. I kept trying. That's I know, why next but year I'm not doing Yahoo. Now you did it. Like, it did it like right as the playoffs started, and I was like, what? Yeah. Wow. That benefits whoever's in the playoffs yeah that does not benefit anybody who was who could have done something about it to get into the playoffs no no no, no. what i did was well, i didn't notice that until like two weeks before because they were like hey try to change mm-hmm. it and i was like well i'm gonna change it right now so i changed mm-hmm. it then and it didn't go through and then i'm like i did it again a second time and didn't go through and then right in the playoffs it went through i don't know so sounds, sounds i mean like, hey like i said I, it I don't sounds cheat. like some goodell stuff I, i'm shit uh I don't cheat. Sounds I'll take shady, that L. Bro. And y'all can look Sounds at my shady. shit. I never traded. Hey, I never asked for trades. I never did not uh, pick anybody from the way wire that, that wasn't a, wasn't uh, available. Hey, but Lewis bit you twice this year, didn't he? No, he only beat me once. He said that he beat you twice. No, he beat me the first time in the regular season one time, and then we went one and one, and then he beat me in the playoffs. So well, that's twice. twice. All right. <laughs> well, but the playoffs is different because, uh, as I said before, I had James Conner. Basically, my team was riding on the shoulders of James Conner and Elkamura, <laughs> and James Conner did not play. They didn't start him against Oakland, which I was pissed because that was a for sure, for sure win. For sure, for sure? For sure, for sure, if he would have played. And, well, you know, it happens. Uh, playoffs, it, you know, and it can go either way. Uh, that's the reason why I cut the, the league down a week before because I didn't, mm. I didn't want the finals to be that week where they start resting players because that's unfair. Wait, um, wait, wait. Is it going to end next week? Uh, yes, next week. So not in two weeks? Not in two weeks. Wow. Yeah, because I wanted, <clears throat> I wanted uh, that week because that final week, they start resting players, and I hate that shit. And I felt like if we did it one week short, everybody would, and especially now because everybody has to play, like that would be better. And everybody gets a fair shot to win. Oh, wow. So, uh, well, I lost. Uh, you know, sh- uh, shout out to Lewis. He beat me. He's a little bitch, but whatever. <laughs> um, you know, <clears throat> and uh, – uh, Charles B. Lowe's. Who doesn't be? But anyways, um, so yeah, uh, JP sucks at football. And uh, bullshit. Went to the playoff. Oh and, and, and check this out. Check uh, this out. The can... people who got A plus ratings in the draft, most of them didn't make it to the playoffs. Stupid ass Medrano. <laughs> first round pick. He had a first round yeah, pick. He sucks. he sucks, bro. But anyways, he stupid ass excuse, boy. Please. But anyways, uh, so let's go into the NBA as well. Uh, so all right, so D Wade going... and LeBron James. Let's go into the NBA. Are we going to go way back there? I was going to go to the Rockets versus Lakers, but all right. Well, no, I mean, this is important, too, because, I mean, they were drafted together, and now yeah. this is the last game they're going to play together. That was a good together. draft class, too. Uh, they were drafted, I think, 3 and I was probably one of the best draft classes, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, anyways, so... God damn, all right, my bad. <laughs> like, all up in my face. So, um, LeBron James and D-Wade played their last game together against each other. Against each other. Um, and it's funny too, cause like, uh, LeBron was like, I could have it any way, brother. It's either here or at the garden. And then people in New York were like, bro, for real? We trying to say like, you could have come, LeBron could have been a, a Nick. Like, oh, you bitch. Man, look, I don't know. I always felt like LeBron was a little bitch. Um, <clears throat> uh, he didn't learn how to win until he went, uh, and, and joined <clears throat> D Wade. <clears throat> D Wade is one of the best shooting guards of all time, man. I saw this dude go to the championship and single-handedly defeat Dallas. Like, single-handedly. He won that championship. Uh, and Shaq was old. Shaq was not in his prime. Um, and D-Way just showed how he good he was. And even after that, uh, and the other teams, they would always make it to the playoffs. Um, mm-hmm. He When, when uh, LeBron James went to Miami, you know, they had the superstar team. That's when they started the whole, you need three superstars, four superstars. And he learned how to win. And I feel like LeBron James learned so much that he can carry on to other teams. But he doesn't have the killer instinct that Dwayne Wade has. Dwayne Wade, in his heyday, in his prime, had that killer instinct, dude. Like, he would Mm -hmm. take it to you all day. Mm -hmm. And, like, his speed was 
incredible, man. So shout out to Dwayne Wade, man. He was always one of my favorite yeah, it's players. Yeah, it's an end of an era. Like, yeah. We're not going to see those type of players play against each other anymore. Because for a while, it was just him yeah. and Kobe. It was just him and Kobe for the best. Well, I think I think D Way was quoted saying something about what once Kobe retired, his kind of like his kind of instinct left too, because that was like his main, his main like opponent and like his main like rival to be better than you know. Mm-hmm. So once Kobe retired, D Way was kind of like, well, fuck. And yeah. what goes un, 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 untold is that D Wade had a, had played great offense and good defense. So yeah. I mean. It sucks, man, because like you never want to see one of those superstars that you really enjoy watching get old and retire. Oh, that shit happens. Yeah, man. and the thing is, not the way, not like this, man. Playing with Miami, Miami's not going anywhere. Uh, but uh, yeah, so they played their last game together, and re- just real quick, the NBA is having like playoff uh, jerseys, and they actually look pretty fucking cool. I have not seen these. They look nice. They look really I nice. Too. How the Rockets look like? This is red. This is red. <laughs> I'll have it's just red clips, with white lettering. They look That's really fucking cool. It, they and, look nice, though. I like yeah. them. And, and who's in... Nike is in charge of them? Nike. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, this, I'm not supporting that. He doesn't take... Oh, yeah, that's right. I he forgot. He doesn't take me. But uh, what else happened in the NBA? Well, um, I, the, the Toronto Raptors beat the Warriors. Uh, Toronto looks really, really good. And without Kawhi Leonard. And I just... Man, Kawhi Leonard just makes a difference on that team. I don't know if it's because uh, DeMar DeRozan wasn't a killer instinct. I didn't have that. But I feel like Toronto now, like, they have that mentality where, like, we're going to attack, attack, attack. I mean, I think they always had that, especially Kyle Larry. He, he kind of plays like that. But, I mean, DeRozan, it's probably because DeRozan is such, like, a superstar player where they have to play around him and the way his style is. It's probably why it kind of like took that away from the. the but rest what's of the, the difference? Okay, no, I shouldn't say that because there's a big ass fucking difference between Kawhi Leonard and DeRozan. Mm-hmm. It's just that I feel like DeRozan cared about his numbers. Kawhi doesn't care as long as he wins. Mm-hmm. And I feel like well, Kawhi's always been a defense type of first person. If you're that kind of person, you're not really looking to score, looking to be the yeah. star of the team. You're looking to win the game yeah. or your team. Yeah, and I I feel like it's gonna be between the Celtics. And the Raptors. There's just no question in for my the mind. East? For the yeah. East. They're, I mean, I don't see Philly and Mark Fultz is out uh, mm. for the season. I think they're trying to trade him, too. I think that's what I heard. And they fucked up because they had a chance to get a whole bunch of better picks. In. They had a chance to get that kid from the, the Celtics, uh, Jason Tatum. Mm. They had a chance to get Jason Tatum. They passed him up for Mark Fultz. It was just a big mistake on their part. Mm. And But Jimmy Butler has done wonders for them, man. But they don't get along with Jimmy Jimmy Butler, either. There's rumors. I mean, Jimmy's a hard-headed kind of kid. Man, but no, it's because I get Jimmy Butler. Because did you hear about Chicago? Uh, Davis team? <laughs> How they didn't want to practice after they got beat by 56 points? No. Nah. That they had like a a, a, a a meeting? Yeah, they didn't want to play, bro. Like, they got their asses spanked. They didn't want to practice to get better. They told the coach. Oh yeah, God. bro. Uh, shout out to David and your shitty team. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, man. It's just I, I feel like Jimmy Butler's in this. It, this league is now soft. Like they don't want to work hard. They get their money. I was reading and and, and finding out that the I want to work players, hard. The bench players hard. get paid three million to sit on their ass. It three is. million. I can do that. I can do that too. I can do that too. <laughs> I can do that. They literally get paid three millions just to sit there, and 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 it's so watered down now because everybody makes money. And in a way, it's good because everybody gets paid. Whoever well, makes yeah, it. they're they're the cap went up for the NBA a couple of years ago. I mean, they're they're all gonna make more money. They're, they're all making more money. So it's just crazy. Um, but for the East, I see them. The West is tight knit, like always. Dallas is better than I thought. Really, Dallas? Dallas. Wow. They, uh, that yoke yoke chick. What's his name? Yoke yoke. He beat the Rockets like single handedly. Like it was bad, bro. Uh, Dirk and Whiskey came back for them. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, Portland looks good, really good. Denver Nuggets look really, really good. But of course, the Warriors, uh, even though they lost, they're getting um, uh, Boogie soon. Boogie Cousins. Yeah. Coming. And so that's going to change the whole dynamic of that team, mm-hmm. I feel like. I don't know if it's going to be for the good or the worst. Because Boogie, <laughs> Boogie's known to be stupid. I mean, so is uh, Draymond, but let's but, see, let's but see Draymond goes. plays hard, man. Yeah, that's Boogie, true. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see because they look really, really good. Um, the Rockets are like a subpar team right now. They're trying to play. Chris Paul's injured mm-hmm. in and out of injury. Uh, James mm-hmm. Harden's carrying the team. They don't play that much good defense. Uh, the Timberwolves. 
Saints. Honestly, that whole trade with Carmelo really fucked them over. They didn't trade for Carmelo. I mean, the the pickup they did for Carmelo because they had to let go to uh, Ariza. Trevor Ariza had to go because he wanted more money. And Trevor Ariza just got traded. And he just got traded to too. the Wizards. I sh- it's just a big mix up, man. I I feel like in the West, um, there's no. The Spurs are playing like crap too. I, it's too early to tell because usually everything starts picking up around March, and then they when the, mm. when the, when the yeah, everything starts getting up, then the, you start seeing who's the real real people are. But um, I still feel like the Warriors are gonna come out of the West. Uh, I really don't see anybody beating them. Mm-hmm. Do you? <laughs> Do you? Do you? No. <laughs> I mean, no? it's that it's, it's no? so the league is so bad right now. NBA is so bad right now because it's, it's, it's just so heavy sided on one team. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of like so predictable. And then like Kevin the Durant had the balls to be to not put LeBron James as one of the greatest players out there. Because oh my God. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing, Kevin Durant. You a little bitch, all right? Because you couldn't even carry OKC to win a championship, all right? And then you want to talk about LeBron James, who went to Cleveland by himself. And when he was very young, and he took a bunch of nobodies to the championship. Your ass with Russell Westbrook couldn't even win a championship. Wassel. So don't Wassel. even start. Wassel. And, and, and as what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And Kevin Durant, I know you were a free agent, that. but I don't even consider you a top ten player. You want to know why? Because your ass joined a badass squad that will already won championships. <laughs> All right. Uh, he he was already like these people had won two championships, and your bitch ass oh joined them. God. Two championships. You're wow. anyways. Shit. Yeah, and the, I hope this hurts. The NBA is it's not really the NBA yet until after Christmas. Yeah, true story. NFL is about to start their playoffs. Yep. We're gonna well, they're gonna do uh, sport, uh no, sport. we're gonna do because you're gonna be involved. Nah, I'm not gonna be in that shit. I don't watch that foosball. And American football. American the the pigskin. Yeah, football. guys, there wasn't really football. too much that happened this week. Uh, mm. we we try to you know find the the best possible topics for you guys if you guys are interested in something please let us know and subscribe and like below yeah um, uh, just a reminder uh we're on spotify uh A- apple Podcasts, uh google Podcasts, stitcher anchor of course uh where we distribute all to those different platforms um the three podcasts i mean so far um shit today because we don't have lows i mean it's been going good this is our 20th episode dude yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Oh crap, it is. Yeah. I didn't even realize that's it was crazy. like such a thing. I totally can see that. I'm gonna see what it says right now. I can totally see And uh it. yeah, it's been pretty cool and I mean we're just continuing to grow and I hope it gets do better. Do we have time to talk about this? Do we have about, about the podcast, how we feel about the podcast? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, do we have time? No. We don't have time? <laughs> no. Well, I just wanna say <laughs> what is time? <laughs> uh, I just want to say I'm grateful for everybody who's watching and supporting us. Please do so. Uh, you know, this is just an up and coming, something that started off as a project, and we've done really mm-hmm. good things. I always look forward to discussing uh, shit because that's what I like doing. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, support us. Uh, you know, hopefully we can bring more better topics because the more you support us, the more we content we can do for you. you yeah, know? for sure. And that's, um, that's, that's the truth. And you can always reach us on our Instagram, our Twitter, our YouTube, our Facebook, our Facebook. Just commenting anywhere and everywhere we see it, we read it, and we try our best to respond. Actually, we respond even if it's not the official Three Way Podcast channel. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the continued support. All of the the links are in the description below, mm-hmm. and man, if you uh, free to sponsor us, anybody out it's, there, it's December. Feel free to sponsor. <laughs> yeah, we've sponsors, you know what's up? Going into a new year, shit, shit's just popping off what, right what, now. What guys are, where, where you guys going? That's, that's for what? For Christmas? What yeah. are we doing for Christmas? Yeah, doing? I don't know, fucking shit up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right. We'll, we'll discuss after. Well, thank you for watching, listening, right, guys, and until next time. Bye bye. Don't bye-bye. forget to watch the Hub Day show on this this Wednesday. Bye. 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 B